Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see the summary of The Spider and the Fly, a poem by Mary Botham Howitt. Mary Howitt was an English poet born in 1799. She is also known for translating works by Hans Christian Andersen. This poem describes the entrapment of a silly fly who gives into her own vanity and loses her life to a cunning spider. The story goes like this. Once there was a spider who wove a web to attract its food. A fly was passing by and the spider decided to trap the fly. The spider called its web a parlor and asked the fly if it would like to come to his parlor. The spider said that it is one of the most beautiful parlors anyone could see. The spider called the fly to his house through the winding stairs. The spider tries to attract the fly saying that the parlor has many curious things to show if the fly could come in. The little fly got scared and said that it is not interested in going inside the spider's parlor as it knows that whoever goes to the winding stair has never come down again. The spider continued and said that it could understand why the fly is so frightened. The spider spoke out that she can fair-mindedly rest for some time on the little bed of the parlor. The spider says that it has some delightful curtains and even the bedsheets are thin and good. So the spider says that if the fly wants some rest, then the spider is ready to take care. The little fly got scared and said it is not going to come inside the spider's parlor to sleep. The fly said it often heard that whoever sleeps upon the spider's bed has never woke up again. The spider was very astute and cunning. It asked the fly what it can do to please the fly and show that it is very affectionate towards the fly. The spider says that it has some gratifying goodies in the kitchen. So the spider offered the fly that it would share those goodies with the fly. The little fly refused again and said that it was pleased by the spider's gestures but it was not ready to see the goodies which the spider has in its pantry. The spider said the little fly that it was a sweet creature and was bright as well as humorous. The spider praised the wings of the little fly and said that they are very shiny and that the eyes of the small scale insect were breathtaking. The spider said there is a mirror on the shelf inside the house and that the little fly can enter the house and see how beautiful it was. The little insect did not fall into all this praise. She just thanked the spider gently and said that she would like to go and wished him a good morning. The little fly spoke out that it will come another day to his house. The spider went inside his house and waited as he was sure that the little fly would come back again. So the spider wove a web in a corner to catch the little fly and arrange his table to eat it. The spider returned back to the door and started singing for the little fly. It said, Come flying into the house with your beautiful wing, which is studded with pearl and looks like silver. Your clothes with purple and green color and the antenna on your head look like a crown. The eyes are like diamonds and he says that his eyes are dull like lead. The fly which heard all these fell in the trap. After hearing the words of the willy spider, with the buzz sound made by the wings, the fly sat near the spider. She went very close to the spider, flattered by his words. The fly was foolish to trust the spider. Finally, the spider caught hold of the fly tightly and did not let it go. It dragged the fly through the stairs to its den. The fly never came out again from the spider's clutches. The poet now tells that whomsoever has read the story should understand not to fall prey to these types of flattering words. When someone tries to flatter you by unnecessary words, fairly don't pay attention. Keep your heart, eyes and ears open is the message told by the poet. Now let's read the poem. Will you walk into my parlor? said a spider to a fly. It is the prettiest little parlor that ever you did spy. The way into my parlor is up a winding stair and I have many pretty things to show when you are there. Oh no no, said the little fly. 
to ask me is in vain for who goes up your winding stair can never come down again i'm sure you will you must be weary with soaring up so high will you rest upon my little bed said the spider to the fly they are pretty curtains drawn around the sheets are fine and thin and if you like to rest a while i'll snugly tuck you in oh no no said the little fly for i have often heard it said that never never wake again who sleep upon your bed said the cunning spider to the fly dear friend what shall i do to prove the warm affection i have always felt for you i have within my pantry good store of all that's nice i am sure you are very welcome will you please to take a slice oh no no said the little fly kind sir that cannot be i have heard what's in your pantry and i do not wish to see sweet creature said the spider you are witty and you are wise how handsome are your gauzy wings how brilliant are your eyes i have a little looking glass upon my parlor shelf if you will step in one moment dear you shall behold yourself i thank you gentle sir she said for what you are pleased to say and bidding you good morning now i'll call another day the spider turned him round about and went into his den for well he knew the little the silly fly would come would soon come back again so he wove a subtle web in a little corner sly and set the table ready to dine upon the fly then he went out to his door again and merrily did the sing Come hither, hither, pretty fly with a pearly and silver wing. Your robes are green and purple; they are crest upon your head. Your eyes are like the diamond bright, but mine are dull as red. Alas, alas! How very soon the silly little fly, hearing his willy flattering words, came slowly flitting by. With buzzing wings she hung aloft, then near and nearer drew, thinking only of her brilliant eyes and green and purple hue. thinking only of a crested head poor foolish thing at last up jumped the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast he dragged her up to his winding stair into his dismal den within his little parlor but she never came out again and now dear little children who may this story read to idle silly flattering words i pray you never give heed unto your evil counselor close heart and ear and eye and take a lesson from the tale of the spider and the fly this is the poem if you have anything more to add on to what i've said please write it in the comment box like the video share it with your friends and if you're not subscribe my channel please subscribe and support thank you